Hello, my name is Rafael Seizorti from Universidad Politécnica de Valencia and in this learning video we will deal with conditional sentences in English. These are the contents of the video. And we will start with an explanation of what conditional sentences are and then we will follow with some conditional particles in English and later we will see some types of conditional sentences and we will finish with other conditional possibilities. The objective is to know how to express conditions in English, something which is very important in technical English, and also to learn exactly how to use the different conditional, conditional types in the English language. Conditional sentences are those that are used to express that an action, expressed in the main clause without if or the particle, can only take place when a certain action, condition, sorry, in the subordinate clause, with if in this case, is fulfilled. Normally the order of the two parts of the sentence can vary. Mm -hmm. And there are three types of conditional sentences in English, depending on the probability of the condition, and they use different types of verbs, as we will see. Apart from if, uh, there are other expressions, uh, structures, that are used for uh, mm, conditional meanings such as when, as long, provided, as we will see. Here we have two examples where we express the consequence of the main clause in red and the condition introduced normally with a particle, if in this case, expressed or written down in blue. We will run out of fuel if the leak is not fixed soon, for example. Or we can place the condition at the beginning uh, like in the second example. If the weather gets better, the aircraft will be able to take off. If, as we said, is the most common conditional particle, but then there are also some other possibilities. When, as long as, provided, or unless. When is normally associated with a temporal sequence because it's actually a time connector, such as in the example. The alarm is triggered when pressure is applied. In this case, when is almost equivalent to if. As long as is another possibility, in this case, associated with the meaning of a necessary condition. In the example, as long as proper maintenance is carried out, the flight will be safe. Two other particles which are synonyms are also possible, meaning if and only if. They are provided or providing, with or without that. In the example, Provided or provided that all doors are closed, the takeoff preparation process can start. And finally, we have unless that expresses a negative condition and therefore is equivalent to if plus not. For example, your luggage will not be loaded until you pay an extra fee. We'll see now the types of conditional sentences in English. We will start with the so called zero conditional conditional, where we have if a plus simple present and in the, in the other part of the sentence we have another simple present. It is used for things that are normal or true in the real world and also they refer to general truths such as for example scientific facts. As in the example, if air passes over and around the aircraft structure, drag is caused by friction. In type 1 conditional, we have another structure. We have if plus simple present, and in the other part of the sentence, we have a future with will. In this case, it is possible and also very likely that the condition will happen, will be fulfilled. In the example, if I find out what the problem is, I will be able to repair the wing. In this case, the speaker thinks uh, it is going to happen. It's very probable. In type 2 conditional, we have if plus a simple past, in this case, followed by a conditional with a, which is expressed with would plus infinitive. In this case, it is possible but very unlikely or unlikely that the condition will be fulfilled. We can see it clearly in the example. If the research project had an adequate budget, the engineers would design a better power plant, plant on time. Finally, in type 3 conditionals, we have a different structure. We have an if 
close followed by past perfect and then I can a perfect conditional that means uh, would plus had plus past participle. In this case it is impossible that the condition will be fulfilled because it refers actually to the past. As we can see in the example, if the pilot had regained control of the autopilot, the accident would not have happened. It refers to something that happened in the past, so the condition is not real, it's, it's impossible. We have other more complicated structures or types of conditionals, and here we have a summary of some of them, here and in the following uh, slide. The condition can refer to a future action, in this case we use a simple present, for example, if the book is interesting, we can use a feature, an imperative, or a modal auxiliary. I will buy it, buy it, or you can buy it. Or also it can refer to an action going on at the moment. In this case we use a present progressive. If he is snoring, I will wake him up, wake him up, or you can wake him up. Also it can refer to a finished action, in this case we use a present perfect. If he has moved into his new flat, he will we will visit him, visit him, or we can visit him. Or to an improbable action. In this case we use should. If he, she should win his, this race, I will congratulate her. Congratulate her, or we can congratulate her. As we can see, we can play with different possibilities in the main clause. We can use uh, even some model auxiliaries uh, depending on the meaning. And here we have more uh, complex possibilities. For example, the condition can refer to the present or future event or to a consequence in the past. In both cases, we use the simple past. If I had a lot of money, I would travel around the world. Or if I knew him, I would have said hello. And then we have conditions that refer to the present or to the past. In this case, we use past perfect uh, in both cases. In the examples, if I had known it, I would not be here now. Or if he had learned for the test, he would not have failed it. As we can see, we can, depending on the situation and the meaning, we can uh, actually um, use different types of verb tenses or forms. As we can see, uh, conditional sentences uh, are very important in technical English and it's very important. Uh, for the learner and for the user to, uh, to know exactly the relation between the two parts or, or the two conditions. The types of conditional sentences are different in English depending on the verb form and on the probability of the condition. It is very important to know how to use the correct form of the verb uh, depending on the type mm -hmm, in each type of the sentence. As a general rule, as we can see, the part of the sentence with if or the conditional particle does not have a conditional verb form. Uh, I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you very much for your attention.